All right, hi, today we're gonna to talk about the Epson Colorworks C6000 printer. That's, uh, to begin with, we're gonna talk about the two different models. So there's the auto cutter, that's the one with the A here, and there's a peel and present model, which uh, we'll talk about in a little bit later. So this one's a little bit more common. All right, and then the next thing is, uh, when you choose your printer, you've gotta choose which version you want, the gloss version or the matte version. And the reason for that is, these printers all use the same CYM inks, but the K, the black, uh, is either in a matte or in a gloss. So once you choose the printer, you can't interchange the black, so you have to choose which one you want. Now with the gloss printer, you can actually print on matte um, materials. They just won't be quite as vibrant as they would be if you choose the matte printer. So the matte printer will have uh, much truer blacks uh, and will be better for the solid colors and the solid black that you're looking for a matte printer, but you will not be able to go to gloss with that. So those are very important things to notice. A couple quick things about the printer. So the maximum printer width with this is four and a quarter inches, and it'll go down to one inch material. All right. Now I'm gonna get over some of the more other features in a moment, but let's just get into printing labels now. All right, so this is a PDF document. Uh, you don't need any special software with ColorWorks printers, just to print right from a PDF. You choose the printer that you're gonna to print to, just like any other office printer or whatever you have. Uh, you will have some settings created. So in this case, I have a two by eight sized label. This is continuous label material. So now it's just double checking the uh, settings are correct on the material that I have. Everything is good, yes, yes, and all of the presets, as I said, were ready to go before. So when I created them, it's easy just to go ahead and hit print. We highly recommend that you use a continuous roll of labels to begin with, just because the different materials have different, will give you different results. And you don't want to go invest in a, a large order of die cut labels, for instance, and then find out that the, the quality or look wasn't what you wanted. So we highly suggest you use continuous material to begin with. And there you can go and you can see how nice that turned out. So that was quick and easy. Next, we're gonna do uh, another label, a similar style label in a clamshell. Uh, this will be a nice red colored pomegranate label. Once again, printing from the PDF, it's the simplest, easiest way. So when we do create the um, media forms, they call them, uh, you, you create presets for what sizes of label you're gonna have. So in this case, it was a two by eight continuous material. You can see some of the settings here that I've locked in. So it's a gloss paper, vivid color mode. You know, you can you can change all of these settings, however you they may suit you. But, uh, you know, once you have them set and locked in, it's easy just to open them up and they're ready to go. And you just hit print, basically. So then here comes the labels that will come now. So once again, this is a continuous roll, so it will cut the labels. So if you were satisfied with the continuous labels that you chose, then you can uh, feel confident in ordering a larger roll of die cut labels, right? So this way you didn't invest a whole bunch of money. You tried one roll of continuous material and you were uh, confident to now buy die cut labels, right? And there's another overview of the nice red pomegranate label. So now we're gonna talk about how easy it is to change the materials over. The design of this printer is very uh, uh, cool how they've designed this. This gate can open or the door opens this way or they've designed it to open this way. So if you have access to the back, it makes more sense. This makes the small footprint and it makes it a quite a clever design. So all we're gonna do is undo a couple little latches here. We're gonna release, we're going to unroll. We're gonna remove our material, take the spindle this is the guide. We remove our roll of labels. We install our new roll of labels. Put the guide back on. It just pops down. Drops right into place. Move your guide out of the place. Put the lever back down. The machine will automatically feed the material and calibrate itself and get ready to go. Simple as that. So now let's print some, some die cut labels. Okay, this time it will be a nice different colored label, nice blue coffee labels we'll be printing. And because we have 
die cut labels in the in the machine it will be uh, the settings have already been changed I created a new template which is called the 4 by 3 die cut and I've uh, made the according settings which I would are correct the printer will double check so it's making sure that we have a gap selected instead of nothing because there are gaps between these labels and the, it needs to calibrate that I've set um, glossy paper maximum quality uh, all the settings that I wanted this label to be now there's a little bit of always a little bit of playing around for you to to get the the look and the, and the quality that you want if you did want to print faster you could lower the quality and the machine will speed up right so in this case because I'm just doing a demo I've set it up to print after two or three labels that I've chosen and it will just cut the job at that point if you were going roll to roll of course you wouldn't need to do that but uh, sometimes you might just want to print off 10 labels or so, cut it, and then take those over to your, your workspace. So the machine will cut this little section for you to see. And this is the, how, how they turned out quite nicely. So the ink cartridges are very durable. They have uh, ultra chrome pigmented inks with these printers. Uh, it's extremely high durability. They're great for, pigmented ink is great for when you, uh, when your labels need to endure moisture such as water and, and frost, or if there are gonna be chemicals involved like hand sanitizers or uh, essential oils. Uh, another big thing is if they're gonna be in outdoors, if they're gonna be in the UV, this ink will hold up really well. Also, this ink is uh, combined with the right material. It's BS5609 certified, so it can be used on containers and it, that are exposed to salt water. So that's a really big feature and uh, specification. Your ink cartridge is installed this way. Uh, and there's also a maintenance box. So the differences between the auto cutter version and the peel and present version. So with auto cutter, you can obviously see, you could print on continuous materials or die cut labels. So you can print the jobs uh, or individual labels with this. With this, you could also get the uh, additional rewinder unit, which a lot of people use, uh, which is really handy to do roll to roll labels printing. So you could print it and wind it right up all at the same time. In that case, you could take it to an applicator or wherever you needed to. With the peel and present version, the machine will actually spit part of the label out and peel the backing paper underneath. So it's meant for if you want to, if you have a fast production line that you want to just grab labels, you don't want to have to worry about peeling them. So you can just grab them, stick them on, grab them, stick them on. It's also handy for if you have, if you're going to be moving towards or you have a robotic or automated labeling uh, applicators. So the machine will then could be able to spit it out and the machine would grab it and apply it uh, however the machinery worked. So that's what the peel and present version is for. For the operating systems, their driver is meant for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So all those operating systems will work with these printers. You can connect them via USB or Ethernet. And there's also a 25 pin IO jack in the back connection for two-way data transferring. So that's it for the summary of the C6000 printer. Uh, if you've got any questions, you want to throw them in the comments. I will try to respond as soon as I can. If you are uh, wanting to see the price, you can click the links in the description. And if you're in Canada and you would like some test printing done or you would just like to talk to us a little bit more, feel free to give us a shout. And thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the alarm bell.